Hello from a wet lake district and welcome to Lloyd BMW South Lakes. Today we have this fantastic BMW 3 Series Touring. It's the hybrid, it's the 330e, it's the M Sport spec. It's finished in Portomayo blue and inside we've got the uh, black Vanaska leather interior. The particular car was registered in March 2022, putting on course on a 22 plane, it's covered just over 10,000 miles. Spec wise, it's got the M Sport Pro Pack, so we've got these gorgeous 19 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with upgraded M Sport brakes. You can see there with the blue brake calipers. It also gives us the black grille. You've got the black roof rails. You've also got the black around the windows and the sun protection glass as well. So that's the outside. I'll get inside before I get too wet. So being a M Sport, you get the sport seats, you get the bigger side bolsters, adjustable under thigh support. We've got electric windows all around. We've got electric folding mirrors, obviously central door locking got electric boot and we could it's a hybrid we've also got a release for the fuel system as well jump inside I'll close that door it's a, bit, it's a bit damp here today in the lakes full digital dash you can see there and the mileage 10,187 miles to start the car put on the brake press the start button car comes to life there's no noise because it'll start in the hybrid on the battery uh, and as soon as we get to, uh, a bit faster will the uh, petrol uh, kick in Satellite navigation obviously is standard, and uh, if we just use that to show you where we are. So we're based up in Cumber in the Lake District. We're about 10 minutes off junction 36 of the M6, just to the south of Windermere. So beautiful part of the world. If you ever pass him, feel free to call him. We've got DAB radio on there. We've also got Bluetooth through our phones on there as well. For select reverse gear, you'll see that we've got a camera out the back with guidelines and obstacle markers. We've also got parking sensors on the front and the rear of the car as uh, as well. Below that we've got uh, dual zone climate control so your passenger can have a different temperature to the driver. You can see there, just uh, turn that up a little bit I think. Uh, it gets a bit chilly today. There you go, make it more matching. Uh, three stage heating on the seats as well, on the front seats. I'm definitely going to leave that on. We've got some favourite buttons down here which are handy for people or places that you go very often. Nice little storage area, handy place to charge your phone along with a couple of drinks holders there as well. You then got the eye controller which does the screen up there. Automatic gearbox, uh, you've got your different driving modes as well. Uh, so you can drive in obviously the hybrid, the electric, the adaptive, so it'll just sort itself out. Multifunction steering wheel, so we've got the cruise control and speed limiter on this side. On the other side, we've got the audio controls. We can choose the source of the entertainment input. We've got voice controls onto the phones and stuff like that. You'll also notice on the steering wheel, you've got the paddles. So if you want to change gear manually, you've got the option of using the, uh, the paddles to change gear. Automatic wipers and automatic headlights are also as standard as well. Right, let me turn that off and I'll show you the rest of the car. So as I mentioned, you've got privacy glass on the uh, rear. Not much use today, but in summer, it'll keep things a little bit cooler in the uh, the back. Plenty of space in the back of the 3 Series Touring. You'll see the seat belts there, got the M colors on. You've got your ISO fix as well for children's car seats. Rear seat passengers have also got their own climate control as, uh, as well. Coming around the back of the car, one of my favorite features of the Touring is the glass is actually separate to the main hatch. So you can then just open up the glass like so. So you can imagine you're parked close to something or somebody's parked close to you and you can't open up the main hatch. At least you can just pop the glass. Or sometimes you've just got small items, you just want to put small items in it. So sometimes easier just to pop the glass uh, and do it that way. Or you can open up the full, tail full tailgate, which is then fully electric. Real's a nice big boot. Uh, you've got split seats if you need more space. You've also got a storage space underneath uh, the floor as well. I'll just close that. Coming around the near side, I'll just show you the charging ports. So you've got a two litre petrol turbo engine, obviously in the front there, driving the rear wheels. And then uh, your hybrid system, you can charge it uh, through, uh, through there, which will probably give you about don't know 25 miles range of just pure electric or it'll combine obviously with the uh, the petrol as well and there we have it so if, uh, if you've got any interest in this car give us a shout we're always happy to answer any questions work out some finance figures organize a test drive for you or if you're not local to us don't worry we also offer a nationwide delivery service as well in the meantime i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching bye for now